whether the access to your run is getting really steep or your run is steep or the conditions are getting icy and too steep to being able to tour up, boot packing is the solution which will take you to your objective. So boot packing is a technique that we split border will use beforehand compared to the skiers because we don't have as much grip on the steep hills when it gets icy. But it's important to know that it's a technique which will make you gain a lot of altitude really fast. So when you're boot packing it's important to know that you can't escape from any danger. You are really vulnerable so it's really important to choose a safe way up or at least the safest you can. So of course, you know, if you're in the middle of the bowl, imagine that the bowl could slide or if you have cliffs underneath, you know, try to go as much as possible on the side. If you have cornices above, you know, maybe go somewhere else, go a bit further to go away from those cornices. So you should not be boot packing without being roped up on a glacier because you have really little surface under your feet. So you're really putting yourself into danger. It's good to choose as early as possible a spot where you're going to have the best snow quality and the least amount of it so that it's going to be easier to just go up. You know sometimes if it's quite deep you might want to choose a ridge if you have one available because it might be a bit more windblown or if it's a cool one you might try to stay in the middle of it because it's been running but if it becomes icy, then you might want to avoid the bottom of the couloir because it might be more icy than the sides. You know, you're going to have to pick and choose like according to the conditions, according to the gear you have. The poles help you a lot. They save a lot of energy on the legs. They even out the effort and then make you keep longer on a more sustainable way. I like to use uh, my pole straps, sometimes not if it gets really steep, uh, but this is something that you need to figure out for yourself. Whenever it gets deep, I like to hit the snow with a bit of an angle. So not only I'm going to use the surface of my foot to carry me, but I'm, I'm going to use also a bit of my shin and a bit of the front of the boot to have more surface on the snow. And that helps a ton when it's intermediate, like this, you see? So it's like acting a bit as a snowshoe. Then when it gets steeper, I really like to use my snowboard as an anchor. This is an amazing tool which saves so much energy and which makes boot packing super efficient. First, uh, you need to know what to do with your poles. If you think you're going to need them very soon, you can tack them into your backpack like this. And they're going to be there for a bit. But if your poles are quite compact, I recommend put them in the backpack because they're going to be a pain on your back. So super important to figure out the way that you're going to use your board. So high backs towards you and you're going to grab the bottom of the high backs from there so that you can bang into the snow. And the good thing about this is that you can use it both to support your weight, but also to pull yourself on it. So the steeper it gets, the more you have an anchor. So the first phase of the movement, I'm gonna pull myself, bring my foot and then bring the next one really close. And at this stage, I'm kind of just supporting my weight on it. And you can see you do really big steps like this and gain elevation really quickly. If you're a skier, it works as well. You don't have as much leverage to pull yourself, but it's do it does work the same. And same with split board. If you're just in between a transition of two hikes with a split, you don't need to change over to snowboard to then change back to split. Keep it as a split and use it in the same way.
So whenever the snow gets firmer, I really encourage you to use both a crampons and a ice axe. Like these are tools which make the way up a lot safer and also which save you a ton of energy. There is a full episode about how to use crampons and how to use ice axe, so I recommend you to check it out if you want to know more. So with certain snow conditions, so I'm thinking more of like Alaska and BC, really maritime big snowpack with a lot of power and steep runs, uh, verts can be a good option. So they're like some kind of small snowshoes which don't have the hinge at the end. So that's it, as you can see, boot packing is not rocket science. It just requires you to practice a little bit, to dial your things up and your gear and the kind of style that you like to ride. But the cool thing is that if you are practicing your boot packing, it means that you're going into a cool adventure. So be safe, enjoy the ride and have a great winter.